Hi guys and welcome back to, um, well it's slightly different now, we've finished the actual construction of the Timmy Tome and the Proto Timmy, <laughs> as Jen calls it, it's a good name for it, Proto Timmy. So it is now time to start embellishing and adding ephemera and all that sort of stuff and I'm really not prepared, I've spent all my time of late actually doing the construction. So today is day one and I'm just going to start on Proto Timmy and I'm going to start on the left hand section. This section is also finished, goes in there, but I've removed it because it's just going to keep getting in the way because uh, we haven't sold them in yet. Although Mr F is going to do a video on how to sew the spine carrier in. I can't think of another word for it. The thing that's going to carry these and the journal in the centre. Never mind, that's in the future. Um, so I'm starting at the left hand side. This has got these two flaps and in here I need to put some um, journal cards, definitely. And then it flips open like that. And we've got this that also needs it. Oh, you can't even see that. I'm way off the mark. This Tommy Tuck in also needs a journaling card and these two pockets here need some form of journaling card and then you open that up and uh, yeah we need a journaling card for there. I have just made the slightest of starts and I've put this little bit up here which is just a little um, pocket made of ticking just comes out uh, and it says to and from and I quite like the idea of filling that out once it's found its forever home um, you know I can write from me obviously to the person who it's going to so that's just there inside that sort of very front page I made a little tag and stamped it and put some bits on it stuff like that okay here I've put two big Timmy numbers down I think I am going to be using Timmy ephemera by and large because it's just it just fits with the journal and I've got it and um, I, th I think it's for the best so on here I've just put two big Timmy numbers and I've stuck it on with this faux aged sellotape stuff uh, packing tape it's great stuff I love it and I will show you how to do that one of the one of the things quite soon and I've cut this piece it's the Timmy wallpaper and I've cut it to fit inside that pocket and then it dawned on me I need something to dress it up <laughs> so I was watching Gail a while ago we all watch Gail I know she's lovely um, and she was doing some bits of ephemera embellishments that sort of thing and I really liked it so I messaged her and asked her if I could do it um, you know say that I'd give her you know more than a mention I mean you know I don't know that it was her idea I think she might have been copying it from some happy mail somebody had sent her anyway it doesn't matter I saw Gail do it so um, it is Gail's thing and I have her blessing to show you so this is kind of Mm. we always change them don't we you know we say we're doing what somebody else has done and then we go ahead and change it but this is pretty much what she did it was music paper and another paper uh, in strips then some lace in the background and then this sort of banner like arrangement here and then some circles and then a focal point that was that that was kind of it and this is my prototype this is what I did so it would go down the side I should have left the journaling card out. But down the side of the journaling card, let's get it out and you can see. And I can see because I haven't seen it. Let's take that out. And then we know the size of our problem. So yeah, so that would be kind of down there like that. Just a little bit on the long side, but I could easily trim that there. So that just lifts that journaling card, doesn't it? It's really... It's a good addition. I like that. So then I went ahead and changed the colours up a bit. And this is what I got. And I do like that. 
it's got flowers on it and there's nothing floral about the prototype or the Timmy but I do think they sit there really quite nicely I, I like those yes they are die cuts from a little die that I got from Ali so no idea what it's called <laughs> the only thing I can tell you is it would have been cheap but beyond that I don't know so I like that there right so let's move on to see if we can if I can recreate that and show you what I did so first of all I took a piece of craft paper is that going to be long enough yeah it's going to be about right I think and I took my decal edge trimmer and the reason I'm taking this is because I can't find my tear ruler <laughs> I, if I had my tear ruler I'd use it but I don't know where it is so let's just use this we've got it let's use it let's just decal that edge and then I don't know how wide it is somewhere between half and three quarters that sort of thing like that and I'm just going to decal the other edge just in case it gets seen right so we've got that we also want this strip down here which is coffee stained paper which is this is that long enough mm, might be let's have a look yeah perfect actually so let's just deck. I've got a very bent corner this is really this coffee stained paper has been kicking around for ages and it's got a bit damaged so I'll cut that bit off and then this, a similar sort of width it doesn't have to be identical but that sort of width and I'll just decal it that one's deckled I think already you know decal this one right so there's our two bits like that excellent that's that's going to be fine yeah going to be fine and let's just let's just put these in the bin i mean i'm starting off today with only a six inch space usually by the time i've done a little demo or whatever i'm in a six inch space but i usually start off with some some bit of cleanness on my desk but there isn't much to be had today right so i need to ink around those and then do some stamping so i'm going to ink around with brown because that's the, the color that i've used for all the inking in the timmy proto one the proto timmy <laughs> i was watching tim holtz on youtube last night doing a a demo that man is so good he is so good at demonstrating he can hold conversations with several people at the same time whilst still demonstrating and looking for things that you know because he loses stuff same as we do um he's just he's yeah he's so good at his job but i'll tell you i won't mind being a fiver behind him but you know good for him he works hard I mean, I, I watched the, the one I was watching last night was on uh, distress glazers. And I must say, I've, I've watched several of his videos on distress glazers. I don't know why, it's just YouTube just keeps throwing them up at me and I keep watching them. Um, I mean, I, I, I love distress glazers anyway. I think they're great. But I think I've only got two. I've got speckled egg and fossilised amber, I think, for some reason. Um, but you know, when you watch him, you're like, you need to go out and buy this stuff, don't you? I mean, that's how good he is. It makes you believe that life cannot be complete without it. <laughs> right, so I want a piece of lace as well. I'm going to use black. You could use cream and um, just go over it with your ink if you wanted to, like I did here. That works as well. But I'm just going to use black. Cut it off slightly longer um, and then then the fun begins so if you see here we've got little um, pendants 
that what they're called? I'm going to call them pendants. I kind of think that's what they are. That sort of needs to be sewn together first. So let's just put a little bit of glue down there and then I'll sew that. And that's the end of the sewing. There's minimal sewing to be done today. Minimal. So I want that quite near the edge. Like that. Maybe a bit further over. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. And then the lace down the edge of this one. That's not going to stick the lace, but I just hope it holds it long enough for me to get to the sewing machine. It's questionable. Questionable whether it is. But it might. Let's give that a minute or so, because I don't want to put that wet glue through my machine. So, whoa. Don't think I can really touch it actually. Just drag it over there. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I need some pendants or pennant I don't know, flags. Yeah, flags. So let's just have a look. Don't think I need it quite that long, but let's chop it off there anyway. And I'm just gonna use my straight straight chopper for these. going to make it about that's nearly, nearly an inch is that an inch yeah it's an inch it's a little over an inch actually <coughs> excuse me and I'm going to use the coffee stained paper as well similar sort of amount I won't need to chop that off as well actually that's too wide it's too wide so I'll chop the decal edge off and then we'll all be uh, equal. There we are. And I'm going to cut this a little bit longer than the craft one. So about there will be, will be good. That will do us fine. Lovely. I'll just keep that remnant just in case. You never know what you might need. So uh, in order to get the sort of flag ends I just fold them over like that and cut them down that away from the crease. No towards the crease. I'd shorten that one. I did that before you know. A monkey would have learnt by now with all due respect to monkeys. But yeah I made that same mistake before. So it's towards the crease. Come on, you can do it. Yay, there we go. They don't have to be even or equal or anything. Just like that. Um, let's have a look what I did with this one. Right, so I stamped. Do you think that's dry yet? Dare I touch it? Yeah, I think I dare. Yep. Um, so that's going to go across there. That might be a little bit wide, but we'll see. And then that one's going to go there. Yeah, that that one does need a little bit chopped off it. Yeah, like, like that. That's great. And then we add these circles on and stuff like that. So let's ink around these so they're ready to go when we need them which will be soon. Oh, I'll tell you what I should have done. I should have stamped on that uh, coffee stain card. Uh, well, paper, card, whatever. Heavyweight paper. Uh, before I stuck it on there. But never mind, it doesn't matter. We can rectify it. Lovely, that's those done. So let's get the stamping done out of the way now. I'm just going to use a straightforward number stamp. 
Oh, not that. I'm going to use my stays on jet black that I've had to buy again because I'm pretty sure there is a, one of these in the house, a stays on black, but I cannot find it. I'm not particularly fussed if it's a good print or not. Um, or straight or anything really. It's pure decoration. Yeah, that's nice. Lovely, like that. I really should have something under here. I really should before I wreck everything. So that's that. So I also want to stamp this one. Yep. And then when I do the circle part, I need to stamp those as well. But that's fine. That's fine for where we're at. Okay, so I'm just going to disappear and do a little zigzag down there and down there. And that's the only sewing in the whole thing. So see you in a sec. Right, that was just quick as you like. You don't have to sew them. Of course you don't have to sew them. But I think they look quite nice. And there's a lot of sewing in my journal, so it's in keeping. Right, then, I'm going to stick that there, and I'm going to stick this one. This is craft paper, it's not craft card, it's craft paper, and it's ever so, ever so thin and obliging, let's see. Yeah, I think I want those there, so let's stick those down then. I mean, you could do this in any style. Um, shabby chic would look quite nice, I think. Nice bit of lace. So that's that there. I just thought it was a really nice way to finish off a journaling card. And it's not too bumpy, so you can still write on the back. I've glued to the end when I don't need to glue to the end. That was a bit silly. There we go. Right, so now it's the circles. So, the only two circular punches I have is this two-inch one and I have a one-inch one. That's it. That's my complete circles. So, it's Gail was making them out of all sorts of different size circles. I haven't got them so I can't do it. So I'm going to cut a piece, a two inch one out of the craft paper and I'm going to cut three one inch ones out of the coffee stain paper. Right, so now I need to ink round these and then stamp on the um, little circles. Well, the weather forecast today, it is raining. It has been raining since the minute I opened my eyes. It's miserable, totally miserable. I'm glad we got out for a little jaunt yesterday. Um, really enjoyed that. Just went round and about, didn't see anything extraordinary. Or, or even really interesting, I suppose. I mean, sometimes we've been lucky enough to see barn owls flying and, um, you know, deer and stuff like that. Sorry? Ostrich. Yeah, one day we saw ostriches in the field. That was funny. <laughs> we live not too far from the Roman Wall and we decided we'd go up so over the Roman Wall onto the other side. Um, because 
it's a place less explored by us. You know, it's not it's not out of space or anything. It's just we don't know that side of the wall very well. So we decided we'd go down there and <laughs> we just you know, we're always looking for things, red squirrels and deer and all sorts of things. And they're in this field with these ostriches. Is that the plural of ostrich? It might just be ostrich, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, we did a, well, more than a double take. I can tell you, I mean, it's ridiculous. One does not expect to see ostrich around in the countryside around here. Um, but we turned the car around and went back. And yeah, I can tell you, they were definitely ostrich, definitely. So, I mean, and it was a miserable day and they were looking totally bedraggled. Um, but, you know, they were, they were ostrich. So there must be, well, I mean, obviously there must be some sort of ostrich farm because we weren't keeping them as pets. <laughs> so yeah, that was quite interesting. But we didn't see anything like that yesterday. Uh, nope. But it still, it was a very nice little trip out. Um, and I enjoyed it. So there we are, we've got our numbers stamped on there. And what's going to happen is that's going to go onto there. And these are just going to sort of peek out. They don't have to be the right way up either. Kind of like that. I'm going to put one there as well. And that's the best I can do with only two sizes of circles. Right, so let's glue those down where they sit. There. Oh, where it did sit. Yeah, there. There. And this last one. there lovely now then now they're all a little bit stuck together we can pick that up and glue the back down into place i'm going to have to come up with so many different sorts of ephemera for this um book it's untrue but you know where did that go? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, but we'll put it there. I think that's kind of where it was. Right. So I like that. I like it just like that, actually. I haven't put any glue behind the tops of my numbers. Come on, girl. Get a grip. You see the picture of Jan <laughs> Janya by the pool. <laughs> Sorry, I, f I forgot I was. T I forgot I was doing a video. I completely and utterly forgot, and I was <laughs> just chatting away to Mister F. Oh my goodness! Well, did anybody see the picture of Janya by the pool? Because she looked absolutely beautiful, <laughs> and I was wondering. This is what I was going to ask Mr. F. Do you think she took a junk journaling with her? <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. I completely forgot that I was doing a video. <laughs> Carry on, luggage. Oh, that's funny. That's, that's really tickled me. Oh, dear me. Oh, that's funny. So on two of these, actually that might do on its own, that one. I think that one will do on its own. Do I want to chop it off or leave it? I, th I think leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. That has really tickled me chatting away with Mr. Mr. F. Good job I didn't say anything nasty. You never do. 
well, hopefully not. So I just, I'm just, I nearly said inking these up. What is wrong with me today? Where is my head? Can I have it back? All right, let's just pop that onto there. Dab it with the towel to get, pick up any glue that there is that you don't want around. Because it'll, it dries clear, but it dries shiny. And that's not what you want. Yeah, actually, back to Tim Holtz, <laughs> the flavour of the day. Uh, the video that I was watching him do last night, which was a, a relatively recent one, I'll just halt there while I say to you, there's that one done. And it's quite nice, isn't it? I do quite like these for, you know, the uh, going on a journal card like that. So, oh, there is our journal card. Let's try that. Yeah. By the time I've got that journal card inked all around and sewn around, I think that's going to look pretty nice on there. And I think you could do other colours as well. Should we have a go at another colour? What do you think? I might have to pause a minute while I go and gather my uh, supplies and clear a little bit of space here. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a second. We'll do a different one. Right, well, I've sort out some things I, I don't know how suitable they're going to be but we'll give it a try so instead of the coffee stained paper i'm going to use this instead of the craft paper i'm going to use my black and mm, maybe i should have sought out some lace i've got some lace here look at that look how convenient that is so right let's cut this then let's stick with the deckle edge because i quite like that uh, I don't really want that on it, so I'll use the other side. So this is from the uh, Proto Timmy paper. <laughs> Proto Timmy. So I, still, I want it about the same width. So about there. Yeah, about there. Inchish. Where I'm going with that, um, and I'll just cut the cut one end off like that. Sorry, I think that's quite noisy. I nearly deafened Jane once with my tickle edge trimmer. Uh, um, right, so that's the one that's going to go in the middle because I'm using black. Oh no, I'm using cream lace now. Right, let's use that then instead of the coffee stained paper. And then I'm going to use black, so I need to trim some of that. I've still got some die cuts in it, in this, so I don't want them to go everywhere. I mean, the sensible thing would be to take them out, yes. This I know, but then they get lost on my desk, <laughs> so that's no good. So that the same sort of size-ish. Okay, so I want that one slightly shorter than this one. So I just want to trim that about there. And I'm just going to risk the scissors because it doesn't really matter if I go terribly wrong. So that's going to go there. And then our lace that we've just unearthed is going to go down this side. Yeah, so how much of that do I need? I need it to there. So I'm just going to um, kind of grunge that up a little bit, really. Just take my inking board. And the ink I've been using, which is this Grand Espresso Distress Oxide. I'm just going to use my um, inking tool and just go over that. 
if you've only got a little bit to do this is the best way to do it if you've got a lot then dye it like you would your seam binding but this is just a little bit and that's it done already I might just do a little bit on the other side just in case somebody lifts it up you never can tell right that's fine so let's just age that back a little bit I think so yes that's going to go there that's going to go there oops down to there like that. and then this is going to go on there this might not turn out very nice you know who knows eh who knows and then I want my two pennant yeah I think that's what they're called pennants is it yeah I think so um they're gonna go like that that's probably long enough so let's fold that over which way do I want it cut into this into the crease <laughs> Still not convinced I'm sure of what I'm doing. Uh, that's going to go like that. Then I want a little piece of black. Are there any little pieces of black lying around? You'd have thought there might have been, but I can't see any. Let's knock these out of here. That's it. So I'm going to have to cut myself a bit. So about that size. <clears throat> Let's just see how long we want it. We want it to be about that long. All these things I was going to say measurements, but I'm not giving you any measurements, so that's not much help, is it? Or, or everything is a movable feast. You can make them cut into the seam, the crease. Yes, there we go. So that's our two pennants for the top. That one and that one. Move that up a touch to there. No, don't touch. Yeah, that's that's lovely there. So let's get that uh, in place before we start messing with the circles. That's what I say. So let's ink, ink and ink. Yeah, I've been watching quite a lot of Gail recently, Gail Agostinelli, and uh, I mean, a she's just lovely. But I like some of the little sayings she's got. And I like it when she says, let's ink, let's think and ink. And that is so true. While you're, while you're inking, you're sort of thinking ahead, you know, what shall I do with the next piece? So, uh, yeah, let's think and ink, shall we? There we go, that's that all inked up. So I'm going to glue these down a little bit. So I can take them to the sewing machine. Um, do you want to stamp on that or not? Mm, yeah, might do. I jolly well might do. So let's get this stamping board out because it is stays on that I'm using and that is going to stay there forever. Yep, pure laziness. stays on I know I don't need the whole width of this but I can't quite work out which bits I do need so I'll just ink the whole stamp Mr F's lighting the fire and as I look outside, it's like horizontal rain. Horrible. Oh, that's nice. It's quite 
in and out. I quite like that. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? It's not an exact, exact stamp. That would have just been a bit too much, I think. So, I've got some left on here. I don't, I don't know how much. I don't know what it will turn out like. Oh, didn't turn out at all. <laughs> no ink at all on there, by the looks of it. Good. I like those because they're not sort of solid stamps. Okay, so pop that to one side. So we've got these now. Oh, but all that wet stays on them. Uh, that could create havoc if you weren't aware of that, you know. It could get onto everything. So let's get some organisation. Um, that goes on top of that. That's the square end, so that's going to go at the top. So let's just put a little drizzle of glue down there. Come back, Matt. That's it. That'll be fine. Just pop that over there. Lovely. Very nice, and now we just want to glue that lace in place. So I'll put a little bit more on. It just absorbs it, that's what happens. I mean, I am going to sew it, but I do need to get it to the sewing machine. It's looking nice different though it is different definitely so I'm just going to give that a second to, to set up a little bit to go off and uh, then I'll sew that then we can stick those on so what we need now are our circles so I need a black circle yeah shall I do the big one in black hmm no I might do the little ones in black Decisions, decisions. I don't know where that went. Oh, there. One. Two. Three. I mean, if you've got one of those inchy square ones, that might look quite nice. So let's just cut a circle out of this fabric, I nearly said. No. Right, there we go. So we've got all our bits cut out. Let's ink around those. Then I'll nip over to the sewing machine. Lovely. Let's just mock it up as we go. Then I'll, oh. There's no point inking these. It doesn't show with brown ink. Oh, I'm not sure they are the right I don't know might be all right you can't really see these actually at all so I think that's a bit of a waste putting them there you just can't see them what's the point what is the point no point at all So I could just leave that like that, I guess. Yeah, could just leave that like that. And I have got some craft uh, flowers. They don't stand out either, forget that. 
Um, what about these ones? I'll put that in like that. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, I think we might have solved our problem. But in the interim, I'm going to go and sew down here. See what happens. See you in a sec. Right, I have sewn those. I made this the zigzag a little bit, um, what, well, not wider, longer, um, just to see what it looked like. And now it's really difficult to see. It is that. I'll just chop my ends off. So yeah, I've learned that lesson. I've actually changed the thread that I'm using. I was using a really cheap thread called Moon. I'm sure everybody's heard of Moon. It's just one of those threads. It's everywhere. <laughs> if you can hear that noise. It's the cat. It's catkin going through um, one of my boxes of stuff. So I hope he's having a nice time. So yeah, that goes like that, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea what he's doing. Might fancy doing a bit of junk journaling. Yeah, anyway, I've changed my thread from the cheap stuff to stuff that is, um, well, you couldn't call it cheap. But I thought it might be nicer for my sewing machine. Um, you know, just not so rough really as the as the other stuff and actually now i've got it it's it's so much thinner um than the the moon thread i think i want that up there um and it the sewing machine is so much quieter so you know i can't tell you what to do but i can say that the more expensive sewing machine uh, sewing machine sewing thread does seem to the sewing machine seems to like it much better so i won't be going back to cheap because this sewing machine i'm using now is, is i've had it i don't know maybe five years or so but it is brand new i've never used it so i don't want to uh to wreck it definitely don't so i've got that there is that right or would a black two inch hole look better? I don't know if I can get a two inch hole out of this. Well, maybe. Yeah, I could. Let's try that. Hole. Circle. <laughs> don't know, that might look a little bit better. No, quite like that. Quite like that. Let's go with that. Um, but what am I going to put underneath it? Does it need anything? I don't think it does. It is what it is. It is what it is. I haven't stamped on that. Yeah, I do need to stamp on it. Let's get rid of that glue. Yeah, I, do, I feel I need to stamp on it. Where's my stamp? Here it is. Just to tie it all in together. So I haven't over stamped that. Hopefully. look at that it's perfect I don't know why it's coming out not a very good stamp I think I'm not putting enough ink on it but that's what I'm after so I'm delighted there we go okay let's put that there I like it I like it I like it I like it so I can't ask for much more There we are. Let's pop that there. I quite 
like these actually I feel sure there's lots he could do with them out of this genre you know into uh, shabby chic or whatever yeah that's nice just trying to use the the dies that I've already got cut as I am way too lazy to go and cut another one <laughs> Oh dear, let's cut that off there. Let's cut that off there and see what, what gives. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I think that's all right. I really, really do. I'm going to sit this one down first. I think that's quite a nice addition to a journaling card. Like I say, it's not bulky, so you can still write on the back, but it does show that you've cared, you know, cared enough to take the time to do this sort of thing. So let's pop that there. Oh, need to pop it down a bit further. My top's sticking out. Yeah, that's fine. Now I really need to get my towel on that before it dries. Because there's a lot of glue where I didn't want a lot of glue. I think that's okay. And this one just sort of coming off there, I think. Honestly, Catkin, I can hear him. He's upstairs jumping off things. <laughs> He's a funny little boy. Just going to put that there. Maybe down a touch. Yeah, there. That's lovely. Lovely. So there we are. We've done two. I mean, they're not that different at the end of the day. <laughs> I was trying to show you how different you could get. You could make them. But I still want to use them in my journals so they're not that different at the end of the day but I've got three that's the as Julie would say you need to make three or five so I've made three <laughs> so I hope she's happy um that was the uh, original I think yeah then we made that one and now I've just made this one and I actually like them all I think they look really nice there yeah Okay, satisfaction. So join me again soon while we've been making more embellishments and this and that and the other to go in this journal. It's going to swallow some up, I can tell you. So thanks for joining me. See you soon. Bye.